Well, good morning, my lovely YouTube viewers, subscribers and followers. It is Thursday, the 24th of October. It is one month and three days before we were due to get the pool fitted. And it is about two weeks before the guys are due to come and start building the little houses, pump room and gym. So we had a phone call out the blue a couple of days ago and the pool installation guys have got a, a bit of a problem. They're supposed to be installing a pool down in Canchanterbury. So the pool installation team phoned a couple of days ago out the blue and they have a bit of a problem. They are supposed to be in Canchanterbury right now fitting a pool for someone. But there's flooding in the area so they can't do it. So they have got a little bit time to kill. So don't get over excited. They're not coming to install the pool. However, they are coming today to meet the guy that is going to be building the resort and to plan where the pool is going to go, uh, the height, etc. Where the pump room is going to go, uh, where the pipes are going to get laid, all that kind of good stuff. So they're coming today to dig the hole and lay the concrete foundation for the pool. Which means when they do come on the 27th of November to install the pool, instead of being here for a week, they are only going to be here for maybe three or four days. This helps greatly, especially with the guy that's going to be laying the foundations and getting everything ready for the pump pool. For the pump pool? For the, the pump room going in. So they'll dig a channel where they're going to lay the pipes. I don't know. They might even lay the pipes through the the area where the, the pump room's going to be. If you bear with me a sec, I'll spin you around and just show you what I mean. The pump room, I believe, is going to the right-hand side of the gate here, uh, where that first sort of panel is. And then the gym's going to go along, and the gym's going to be a couple of panels wide there. They're not coming out four metres like the rooms are. Uh, they're maybe only three metres deep and the rooms are getting built they need to be a meter from the wall the the stuff here doesn't that can go right back against the wall because it's just a pump room and it's just a gym but the rooms are going to be a meter from the wall so they're going to be a meter from the wall and they're going to be four meters wide for well sort of four meters deep so they're going to come out a fair way so this is why the guy that's building the resort's coming out today as well to meet the, the pool installation team so he can basically just let them know exactly where the pool's going to go, the, the height it needs to be at so it's level with the, the rooms across there. There will be a step down from the rooms to a lower patio and then a step up to the pool. So we want the pool and the, the room patios all at the same same level. Now the level everything's going to be, I'm hoping, is the level of that bottom row of holes that's in the wall. That wall's pretty much perfectly level, so it gives them a, a good place to start for making the foundations and getting a nice level foundation in. But we'll let them deal with that. So I will be back shortly guys. I've got the action cam up in the window there. I'm going to just set that on. I think possibly a hyperlapse record and I'll do a wee wander about with this when they're here. So I'm just waiting on them coming and the next time you see me they will be here and something will be happening. I don't know what but something will be happening today. Well it's about eight o'clock in the morning now. It's an absolute glorious morning. 
I'm struggling to talk here. I'm eating a Werther's original. So the guys have turned up, the pool installation guys. And they are just offloading their macro at the minute. So we're waiting on the guy coming to liaise with them that's building the resort. So they're just getting uh, prepared, ready for him coming. So we've kind of opted for the pool to go in this area here, which gives us a, a decent area at that side for a, a patio for the rooms and a decent area at this side to patio. Now the patio is going to be stepped because it's going to be higher here. Then we're going to sort of step it down and hopefully we're going to run everything off towards that gate so that any drainage goes out towards that gate. So it's going to step down from the, the houses or the, the rooms, it's going to step down. It's going to come along, then it's going to step up to the pool. So that's the guy here arrived now. So uh, I think, or is that more pool guys? Oh, that looks like it could be more pool guys actually. Okay, so after about an hour of discussion, we have decided that where we picked for the pool is okay. So we are officially underway. So we're going to have a big hole in the back garden for a month with a concrete base in it, but it means that the pool will get done a lot quicker, like I said before. So I've got my action cam up there in the window recording. So I will probably stick a hyperlapse on, I'll just keep this recording. And we will see this as they progress. <laughs> Just a wee insert. One bought a solar light for uh, outside. And our sister and brother-in-law around fitting it for us. We had some spare poles underneath, so. She wanted some light here. So we'll see how this works. So back to the hole. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Now they started about 8.30. They've had an hour for their lunch. They've been away for their lunch. And you'll see that the guys trying to level this out a little bit, bring that back end of the garden up to the, the paint line on the wall there. And it means we're going to need fewer trucks than we actually thought to bring the level up. So they are just doing the final preparation work on this hole. Uh, they've measured it for size, measured it for depth. They've got their surveying equipment across there. They have their little pipe with water in it, which is probably more accurate than anything. They've got posts all around the pool that are set to the exact height that the wall 
is going to be around the pool. So that'll be the, the, you probably can't see these, but that is going to be the height the pool is out the ground. So obviously at the far end, the poles are longer than this end because the the garden sort of slopes off there. Well, it does at the minute, but it'll, uh, it'll be leveled off. So yeah, they're cracking on uh, pretty well here. They are now straightening out all the rebar for building the frame here for the the concrete base. So I'm assuming they'll probably get this rebar frame in today. I, I see loads of bags of concrete around the corner, but I don't think that is for making the base because there's certainly not enough. I think they're probably going to get a, a concrete truck in because this is going to be a 15 centimeter base in the bottom. So they're going to need a truck or two of concrete, I would think, to, to put this base in. But we will see very shortly, or probably tomorrow, in fact. So that's the macro going. You will now know that the hole's been dug. And they are starting to lay in the rebar to make the framework for the concrete base. Now the guy with the macro has done a fantastic job here. He spread all that dirt that came out and he's covered a great big area here. He's brought it up to the level we want it. So it means we're only going to need maybe uh, five or six truckloads of earth now to come in and level it off so that it's the same level as the drive here because they're going to concrete on top of it, so it's going to come up a few inches. We're probably not going to be up at the height of that, that row of holes in the wall, but that really doesn't matter. It's going to be fine as it is. So, rebar going in. End of day one, and we have a nice rebar frame set in for the concrete base. So the concrete trucks are coming tomorrow, I believe. I think they're finished for the day, but they don't seem to be making any move to go, uh, go to the wee resort they're staying at. So I don't know if they're going to keep going. I don't know what else they can do until the concrete truck arrives tomorrow. But if they... If they do anything else, uh, I'll be back. It's the end of day one, and this is take two because I never had my bloody microphone switched on. <laughs> so it's 5.30. The light's starting to leave us. And they did stay for a little bit. They have put their 15 centimeter spikes in for giving them the depth of this base. Now, I expected them to turn up with a roll of that really crappy rebar that you see them unrolling and flattening out and putting down when they're building driveways and things not here and i suspect it's because of the weight of the pool they need a decent concrete base so they have built a full rebar frame in the bottom of this and set their spikes in for the depth so i will spin you around and let you see where we're at so you will see we have a nice rebar frame built in the bottom and i don't know if you can see that but you'll see the the 15 centimeter spikes every so often for gauging their their level their height and their level tomorrow morning we will have two concrete trucks i think two concrete trucks we've kind of worked it out and uh yeah i think it'll be two two three cube concrete trucks that come so that's it i will see you bright and early tomorrow morning when the concrete arrives
very early day two and a sand truck's just appeared and we had to phone the guys because we had no idea why the sand appeared but uh, on phone them they've come round and they've told them where to dump it I think this is uh, going to be put in as the, the base for the the concrete I thought a, a lorry load of sand that's a heck of a lot but actually once it's out the lorry it's not that bad and I think it'll just get put down as a, a base before the, the concrete trucks come so there we have it the sand delivery so I was just sitting editing this video and I heard a reversing beep and I thought oh that sounds like it could be a concrete truck and it certainly is I'm so glad we had this carport built high because it has just been absolutely fantastic for getting concrete trucks, macros all sorts of things in here sand deliveries, earth deliveries and the second concrete truck this is a small one <laughs> it's like a wee dinky toy And that's the second load in. It's a 1.30 on day two. And the guys are away. So, what do we have? Let's spin you around and have a look. So, we have a hole for the pool with a substantial concrete foundation in it. So my job for the next three days, apparently, is in the morning and in the evening is just to water this down so that's that uh, this video is going out it's going to be about a month before they're back to install the pool he said it might be sooner it depends how the weather is down where they've got their other jobs so it could be sooner than a month but the planned date is the 27th of november for them to come back now the guy will be here on the 9th of November to start this. We have ordered uh, some trucks of dirt to come in just to level this area off here. We have to bring it up to the same level as the, the drive here so that when they build the foundations they, there's a bit of a step up. So that will be the next thing that gets done and that will probably be uh, tomorrow I think they're going to be delivering that and levelling it out for us. So that's it for now, final look at my hole. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and give me a wee thumbs up. And I will see you very soon. Thank you so much. Cheers for now.